Welcome back to Streamline Entertainment. Uh, apparently, a lot of people look at the message um, Lucy May apparently put up uh, about YouTubers um, stop talking about the Jay Slater matter and her. Let's listen to this. This, this is by Tales of Life. And a sort of dig away out of it and guilt tripping us as well. So yeah, I'll just have a quick read of it as you can see on the screen. Please can people stop sending me screenshots of this wax and other people who are obsessed with me and Brad. We're not obsessed with you at all. That's <laughs> not what's going on here. We've been told the tale. You the cheek of it. She actually thinks that um, she's actually someone of relevance and really, really famous. And all we want to do is just to get the truth um, for the family because we know that there's killers still running around out there and could do exactly, we know this uh, uh, tales of events, uh, should I say, um, Jay apparently going over there to make a little bit of money. Um, Lucy has probably put him on to a few people and also enjoy yourself out there, you know, pop a few and uh, have uh, a hell of a time, come back with a little bit of money in your pocket and go to the next festivals. Uh, but look, you know, apparently it was said that she really, really wanted him to come. And um, she doesn't really want to take any responsibility for what she's done. What, <coughs> what she's done is, what I say, is protecting your friend, not leaving him, making sure he doesn't get into trouble. You left the club early and uh, I'm sure you, she would have received a phone call from one of her other friends to say, Jay's not feeling well. And yet, you disappeared very very early from the club and you know we want to know the real reasons you've lied to us we know you've lied to us we proved you've lied to us so we want to know what's happened because you've lied to us and someone's died and you're clearly covering something up so we're not obsessed with you at all it's clearly the fact that you've brought this on by lying to us so that's the first point Brad, uh, we don't care what these people think about us with these, their theories and their lies. The truth sits with us. Right, first of all... If you don't know how to make cords, this is it. Congratulations. <laughs> the cords are already made for you. We can drag one of these chord progressions in. You're the ones who's lied to us. We, we don't need to lie to you because we haven't done anything wrong. We're just listening to what you've... The horse shit you've fucking fed us and reacting to what you've done so we don't need to make up any lies at all and we haven't all we've done is pick pick your statement a little bit of brad's because brad's isn't really that pickable but we still obviously pick this statement to bits as well and cuisines because all your statements don't make sense he went to a party that wasn't a party Right, with two strangers who weren't strangers. So within like the first two lines of this explanation of your, you peoples, you've lied to us twice, right? You've lied to us, not the other way around. We we don't need to lie because you've done enough lying that we don't need to make anything up at this point. That's the beauty of that, Lucy. The cheek of it, the absolute cheek of it is just unbelievable. It really, really is. Um, you can tell, you know, she doesn't give a toss um, now and she, it, she just wants it stopped um, because now she's basically saying everyone's clout chasing. No, we're not. All we want to do is find the truth. We found, I would say, 75 to 80 percent, which I believe is the truth, um, from the club to the beach and also the distractions uh, we've had to pour out this way. And a lot of the YouTubers wax and filtered harsh many others tales of life we put a lot of effort in um because we want justice for jay and we're not going to give up the the your your story in cuisine mainly you you two idiots his stories of like you've lied to us enough that we don't need to make anything up you, you've literally mm. put the foot you put your foot in it yourselves so don't come around here calling us liars <laughs> when you're the liars and basically the only reason that this has got to this level and you're under this spotlight is because of yourself you brought this to the media you brought this bullshit story right. yeah 100 percent and the i think what it is 
she expected us to go with the narrative this is what happened to Jay but what happened was she didn't expect people to go so true true crime 1111 exposed a hell of a lot about the photos um about the interviews and it got people thinking that we've got to look a look a bit deeper uh into the pictures into the whole narrative we had to take it piece by piece and if we're gonna some youtubers have to go back to go forward so if we go back to a specific spot and you've seen those videos before it's just that we're trying to pick out holes that we've missed before the first time where so much information have come out now it's hard to keep up and remember every little situation about this case and valuable information as well right and people are just reacting to that and it's not and the thing is as well it's the reason that wax is getting all the views is because nobody believes you nobody with a brain who's looked at this in depth and hasn't just took the media's overview of it anybody who's looked into this in detail doesn't believe your story that's the bottom line so what else did she say we don't need to explain nothing to them or anyone well i think you do need to explain to people because the lad's dead and your story's hot shit so i think some people and like his mother his father his brother some people you definitely do have to explain to uh, us maybe not but you became this tells me that she is a very 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 selfish person very very selfish person um no given i don't think she's a very very nice person i don't think so and um someone emailed me i'll have to see if i can find it emailed me that um a situation on the beach uh with a, with um someone called lucy happened months um months back before jay went missing so it makes me wonder whether it was the same sort of kind of um, um setup or operation um, someone got beat up and someone connected um, uh, um, uh, a girl called Lucy but we don't know whether it's the same Lucy but I'll have to see whether I could dig that out obviously we get so much information hundreds thousands of messages um, coming in some of them seem legit some of them don't you brought it to the media go fund me to 72,000 pound people have donated to I think then people demand that the not even demand deserve to know the truth of what's happened to this lad because you lot haven't told us it so we're disrespectful and um, conspiracy is letting it go sitting on hours and talking uh, sorry i'm just i'm trying to read like paraphrase but then just messing it up <laughs> right disrespectful the people are still making up new conspiracies not making anything new up the conspiracy remains the same it's either something to do with Tom Hilton or a drug debt. That is definitely the two options, and there's nothing new coming. That's that's generally the the the, the two. Jack Grandy, the Tom Hilton is quite new, but that's because we haven't spotted. I did say um, the two things just um, in line with tales of life. The Tom Hilton setup could be a possibility. Um, I think it's uh, highly. I would probably rather go with that than him just losing the, dr the drugs but like I said the two could be easily combined for the two um, in um, uh, setting them up and like I said maybe like I said um, a couple of uh, uh, um, Hilton, Hilton boys um, robbed Jay and Jay took the rap um, for it you know um, setups can it can be a lot of things and those two scenarios you know to me fit together him in the club um so it's one of them it, it, that would have been from the word go it, it, people did think that it was something to do with that from the word go a lot of people did but without tom hilton tom hilton evidence and it's still vague because the, 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 the quality is not good but everyone a lot of people and myself included thinking that possibly is tom so the granted that one's a new one but still the drug debt thing still a secondary or yeah, then two I agree. still I the agree. main two and nothing really is being made up um, I personally even if Tom Hilton didn't have anything to do with his death he definitely gives the bag to that lad and we've seen him give the bag away which then links back to the drug crack of losing the bag so we're not really making anything up it just that just sort of ties back into the original drug theory of losing the bag so 
yeah, last but not many, I can end this one up. Um, I was an end, but a young life that's gone. It's not. So, yeah, and so she's basically saying that people are talking about her is disrespectful. And she's the only one disrespectful. I, I think, um, I'm not too sure who Rach uh, Lou is, um, whether someone talked on uh, her behalf um, to put it out there that she wants it and she went on to say, this person went on to say, which, you know, it could be Lucy uh, under or one of her friends or someone connected to it that um, she thinks is pretty low and we're all after cloud to know we're after we just want murderers off um, our streets and uh, basically you know we're not saying you're involved but we're saying that you know the story of what happened to Jay and you should tell uh, Jay's parents and brother uh, what happened so that we can actually close this case and get on with it because I think uh, Jay uh, life ended very very badly uh, please subscribe uh, to a couple of uh, interesting messages come in over the last um, few days and I think a lot of people have been questioning uh, what is Lucy's real name? Uh, I've had a couple uh, which some of them not been genuine I don't think so I haven't really mentioned it but someone says uh, here uh, thankfully I think they're replying to somebody else but they said thankfully you don't feel the need to over exaggerate your facial features when promoting your videos which I enjoy um, thank you uh, Lucy's real name was revealed earlier on by a schoolmate uh, Natasha or something similar so Natasha or something similar I had a funny feeling um, Lucy Maylor is not uh, her real name. I just didn't think so. Uh, I just had a feeling, especially in the early days, that she was going under another name. Uh, but some other information about her dad, who's supposed to be a major player in Tenerife, and someone went on to think to say. I think he's called Adam Gregory and has a place in Tenerife and into the rug scene. Also Brad's dad, they're all uh, major players in that trade. Wow, wow, wow. And I think sometimes when you look at the sort of backgrounds uh, of uh, people and you go through information, it's amazing what comes out. But I think quite a few of these people have got, uh, you know, Lucy, Brandon, we know that was using uh, a different account. And we talked about cryptic messages and um, meanings uh, towards um, satanic rituals and signs and stuff. And I do think this is a part of um, what could have happened to Jay as well which is a very 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 serious and um, uh, evil nasty evil thing for these people to actually be so what it does say is like I said where their mindsets are they've got no consideration for life they want it to be over and so they can go out and um, uh, make money off other people and ruin other people's lives so that certainly tells you what we're dealing with yeah so we're going to move on um, to some of interested messages and sometimes you really have to sit through them someone said wow having followed the case from the beginning i'm in no doubt that tom hilton has orchestrated this whole thing for quite some time it takes a cold calculated and cunning mindset to pull something like this yet it is but you have to have other people 
with the same the criminal mentality mindset to get this done as well and like I said uh, in my previous uh, video the elders and the youngsters are in the same game there's so many characters involved it's really quite scary Tom's been out there uh, all along probably watching from the sidelines just counting down to Jay's murky from the very beginning I don't believe uh, the story of the watch and nobody saw it is an excuse they used to get us in the public to believe yes they did there were a lot of scenarios and trip uh, to the um, b and b and uh, him on the road and they tried to feed our mind and sometimes it's a narrative to take you off course and to make you believed that it happened and a lot of people actually do believe jay walked off the cliff obviously i don't but there's a lot of people who told me um no he did walk off a cliff but we know he didn't because we knew that there was more to this story which have obviously come out in recent weeks and recent days uh and this person went on to say i agreed it happened on the beach lucy uh, uh got jay to the beach hence why she screamed you didn't say uh, you were going to STAB him. He was set up. From there, they transported Jay into the car with Tom posing as Jay for the Snapchat and obviously wearing his top as well, which is said by many people. A lot of people thought this actually story was really, really, really far fetched. Um, I didn't because I knew um, that. The people in there's so many people involved in this and like i said if you know youtube is actually going to go to go to the island they'll probably find out the truth what actually um happened um to him because i think people will talk if money's on on, on the table i think people will talk um anyway in the right situations um look at the cases from the 80s uh where investigators and family went out there and they found the news they wanted it wasn't good news but they actually found you know what is you know what's going on there's a couple of other messages that i'll dig out which are quite of importance as well another one said uh there was a video of a lad limping and it was quite a good video and it was around um a week or two after jay um went missing and it was on tiktok and a few other sites as well but can't seem to find that at all and someone else went on to say yeah i saw it and it looked genuine um to me and someone else went on to say did you notice how the same limping lad same clothes look identical to identical to the last new footage where jay was limping I can't find the footage anymore but it, yeah it was good proof a lot of people were on about it I mean don't forget guys there are a lot a lot of um, uh, different things uh, and videos out there and many many people have made videos someone says I think Mark could be working for AOP in this instance he could have been brought into muddy waters which he did we need to move on uh, from the watch I think is a red herring I did mention this a few days ago but it was an interesting um, message also Jay looks like he's loaded up on Valium originally I thought that was um, Gurnan of Exorcist but he looked tranquilized this is what I said guys I think that he may have been spiked so he was easier t to control and this is why I think he was set upon on the beach because he was feeling vulnerable and he went on alone and it took someone like lucy uh to say uh basically he's on the beach uh, but maybe she didn't think what was going to happen to him was going to be that bad also i saw some footage showing a lad hiding under the sunbed from a group of lads then giving them the slip but i can't seem to find it now was this just before the stabbing on the beach so yeah some interesting messages there um, any more information then let us know I have a video coming out a bit later about the Aruba um, a really good friend of mine 
uh, um, investigator um, has some information on that as well. So that, that video will come out later. Thank you wherever you are in the world and don't forget to subscribe to Streamlight Entertainment. Thank you.